Hey, welcome to Fix It for Josh's Sake. Uh, today I'm going to show you some things I learned as I needed to replace uh, the rear tire on my 1980 Honda Goldwing 1100. I was looking for a search for some videos on YouTube and didn't find too many that seemed straightforward and informational. A lot of them were people just kind of uh, fumbling around, which I did too and finally figured out a, a pretty straightforward way to change my rear tire. Uh, so I'm going to show you the process mainly of how to remove it uh, with the bags and everything in place. So I'll take you along and, and show you what I did here. All right, this is the bike I was telling you about, 1980 Honda Goldwing 1100. And uh, we got a, a fresh new tire under there now. This right here was the only way I could have done it on my own. I am a uh, driveway mechanic. I don't have a garage. So everything I do, I have to figure out how to do here on my driveway. And uh, I've had to be quite innovative because of it. Anyway, this is the old tire we took off. Pretty shot, weather cracked, wore down. Uh, we needed a fresh one on there. So I'm going to tell you some of the key things that I needed to do to get it replaced. First of all, uh, I needed to put my lift under here. Went underneath the transmission or crankcase there and back here. Now you have to go just in front of the center stand. The center stand has to be down. You will not have clearance to get this tire off if that center stand is flipped up. So make sure you put your center stand down and then slide the motorcycle jack, the motorcycle lift under there and press up on your, your uh, transmission and crankcase. The next thing you'll need to do is make sure you remove that cotter pin and spin off the nut. That's a 22 millimeter nut. Then you'll come over here, remove this uh, 12 millimeter bolt. It's threaded in the bottom of the swing arm, so that'll come right up. And then get yourself a great big screwdriver and spin this axle. Uh, what I also do is I will take a hammer, like a 16 ounce, and I will put it in the hole of this center of the axle right there. A Phillips screwdriver will go right in there and I'll tap on it gently. And usually between giving that a little tap to break loose and sticking the screwdriver in this hole here on the other side, I can pull that right out. Now on this one, I have this cool, um, rack and I got the bag out of the way the bags up there but I had to loosen these bolts and these bolts to get room to flex this because the axle path is gonna come right over top of the muffler and right underneath the here and then the next thing I needed to do was I had to back this bolt out this was uh, a 14 millimeter it is threaded into the back of the swing arm bracket back here which is kind of difficult to get started again Take your time, work at it with a screwdriver or something to get it in the right place. This needs to swing forward in order for that to happen. Uh, it doesn't look like it needs to swing far right now, but once this axle is out, this is loose, and then uh, you'll need to get this to move forward. Also, the next thing is you're going to need to take this bolt out so that cotter pin needs to come out, and then this unthreads. Uh, that was a 12 millimeter. And so that'll come out then this whole brake assembly will come away okay the tire will still not be free to get out so what you have to do next is pull your battery out of the battery box and right here is a uh, guide arm that the little uh, 10 millimeter bolt right there has a a lock clip on it that bends up so you got to bend that down then you take this bolt out that's threaded into the frame and then this swing arm will come out of the way which attaches right here to the brake assembly once this swing arm is out once this brake assembly is out once the shock can rock forward you will have the clearance that you need to get this whole tire to come come this way and remove it from the uh, shaft drive assembly that we see <laughs> over here that it'll it'll fall it'll move away from the shaft drive assembly over here all right the other key thing i should mention is that while the bike is down here on its center stand now 
when I was using this lift, I had this lift jacked all the way up to the second notch here. So you got these safety notches, first safety notch, second safety notch. So I had my uh, gold wing uh, probably two feet in the air. And that was the only way I could get this tire to clear uh, so that it would, and I still had to flop it down sideways that way and then bring it out. Uh, it didn't roll out the back because, well, we've got a bunch of fancy stuff back here. But if you get the do what I showed you for clearance and then roll it down, it'll come out this way. You can change your rubber. There's tons of videos on that. And then bring it back in and reassemble everything the way I showed you. Probably one other key factor to mention is that this arm goes in one way and only one way because this clip has to be on top. If it's on the bottom, it will bang on the uh, the brake uh, assembly right here on the on the disc. So this arm needs to be put back in with the brake line holder in the right direction. All right, have fun. Thanks for watching. Again, this was Fix It for Josh's sake. I'm Josh. Love helping my uh, fellow wrenchers figure out how to get back on their bike and get things running right. Have a great day.